Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most beautiful games that I've ever seen. The lighting, the city, the atmosphere, everything. And I know that path tracing is gonna make the game look even more impressive. Can you maybe talk to us about what is path tracing and how is it different from what we already have in the game? In general, ray tracing is a, is a technology to calculate the light by just tracing exactly how it traveled through the world. And it's obviously way more accurate. Imagine it that it's like layers in a Photoshop. To, to create a final image with the renderer in a game, you're actually generating layers of information from the world. So you're getting information about shadows, the light that hit the surface, about the light that bounced from the surface, about the light that bounced from the shiny surfaces, all sort of information like that. In classical, old school rendering, you're doing that by individual subsystems that generate it separately. So they have no information about the other systems. With hybrid rendering, we're just replacing some individual layers with more accurate ones. And with puff tracing, we're just replacing a bunch of people who don't talk to each other into one guy, actually two guys. One is responsible for information of the light hitting the surface, and the other guy is controlling all the information of the light that bounces off from the surface. We call it a unified rendering. So it's a proper full ray tracing rendering. Previously, we had a limitation of 10 lights per game. You could have more lights, but only 10 were, were casting shadows. Practically right now, all the lights you see in the screen, all lights, it can be thousands of lights, they will all cast fully realistic soft shadow in the world. The difference in the calculating the frame between more classical hybrid ray tracing technique and the path tracing technique is that the detail in the hybrid mode is a little bit less dependent on the resolution because a lot of the calculations are happening independently of the resolution. So, in short, you actually want to have as many pixels on the screen as possible to get as good definition of the world as possible because the LSS is actually allowing you to control the quality, so how much you're upscaling the image. So with frame generation, you can actually push yourself to have a little bit higher quality of the base image before upscaling because you're generating frames to make up for it. It's really, really a, a perfect match, the DLSS3 and the path tracing. Obviously, the game is massive, technology change is, is huge. What DLSS stands for is actually Deep Learning Super Sampling. It's an AI-based anti-aliasing algorithm. But we all know that it's more than that because it does an upscaling job under the hood. And what the upscaling is, is just a bit of technology that allows us to render the frame in a lower resolution gaining the performance while still maintaining the high-level details of a frame. DLSS3 is actually AI-based frame generation, which captures some of our internal textures, and whenever the game wants to present the frame, it just takes over, stores our internal original frame into the copy, and then presents the generated one. It actually moves the time when we're querying the input from the players and shortens the gap between querying the input and then presenting the final frame. 